all right welcome back so we have learned how to write our name inside inside form we have learned how to write email and password and all of that okay now and also password we have learned how to write password so let's quickly check what we have here so let's try and write this password i can see so it is telling us do we want to see it or we don't want to see it so okay so now let's go to uh what is it called let's go to our uh let's there is something i believe every one of us will uh, come across one way or the other if you have been feeling from the online a situation whereby the system will tell you what they actually want the kind of password format that they want at times they will tell you they want a password that will consist of both letter and number at times they will tell you they want a password that consists of both uppercase lowercase then digit and so on so that's what we want to quickly learn now how do we do search so most of the work falls inside our input as we all know that this one the label is just label just for it to show that okay password so let's go to input now so if you want to do our regular in input so we normally go to we normally go to um so inside our input set here the placeholder we can let it show what we actually want like um minimum of each character so after the type which password id pw and placeholder so we have written that okay now this is what we have as our place so the coming I don't like the way this thing is showing. Let me reduce the font. Okay, it is better now. So minimum click that and all of that. All this one is just sending it, just to let the user know what you are actually expecting of them. But the main thing that will not let them do what they actually like is the pattern. So it is the pattern oh sorry it should be inside here it should be inside the input so the pattern so now the pattern there is something we call positive look ahead in programming so the first thing is to open your parenthesis oh, let me bring the pattern down so that you can see it very well okay so we have um positive look ahead in parenthesis and that's the first thing that we're going to be declaring now so we have it the open our parenthesis as i've said and then this too so inside this parenthesis now, we are going to be putting this particular code, the question mark, that's the first thing, the equal to, and then dot, this full stop. This theory means positive look ahead to. It means positive look ahead. It means that positively you should look ahead into this, in this password and if you don't see it don't accept the password are you getting it now so after this particular one then what do i look ahead into the first one so to indicate the first one you're going to put an asterisk what do you want to state first is it capital letter which one do i state first okay uppercase so for uppercase you use your square bracket you use your square bracket and then you write capital letter a to Z capital letter A to capital letter Z so this means it must have this are you following so after this what is the next one that it must it must have then we open another parenthesis so we open another parenthesis so inside our parenthesis now Remember the positive look ahead to the first thing is question mark, 
then equal to and then dot after that you put your asterisk to indicate what you actually want then after your asterisk let's say lowercase now so remember you need your square bracket then you use lowercase this time around so z so that is another case okay let's open another parenthesis then you can say okay so this one now we want to say uh, a digit so at least a digit so the first thing uh, I don't know if you have guessed right positive look ahead to then your equal to and your dot then your asterisk to say a digit now you need a stroke in this case so you're not going to do it this way so I, it's not a forward stroke the backward one this stroke then you put D that is a digit are you with me then another thing there are many cases you can indicate you can also talk about special characters so to talk about special characters you just use the same method and inside this your bracket to put all those character ads all of that yeah, what are those characters that are very common you use your art you, use your art, you can use any of those characters you put them there all right so aside from that we can also use our now we want to specify that is full stop to stop that then another thing is we want to talk about the number of characters that we want so we have closed our parenthesis now for this one so now you need curly brackets curly brace to talk about the characters that you want do you want six characters do you want seven characters just state it there let's say okay i wrote it there so eight characters at least eight characters this is what is telling us that is the comma so the comma is saying from eight and above so you can also talk about maximum if you don't want the password to be too long you can as well indicate 10 or 15 or whichever one so it means at least eight characters and a maximum uh maximum of 10 characters but since i did not put that there so let me just remove it so this case now you have told the system okay let's save and then see what it's going to tell us then another thing that will let it ask for this is the required you need to indicate that this thing is required so you need to indicate that it is required you can actually use required for everything that is compulsory in your form it is not only in the password case for your especially your email mostly we need email for our email marketing so for your email you can as well put required their first name too mostly we need it remember it is it will be inside input inside the group that you put your required uh, come to the other input too last name is not compulsory but email we also need it so where's our email okay i'm looking for input for email okay this is it so you also let it know that okay it is required can you see that now so let's see and come here now so if we come here and then refresh so now we have this so for this now let's let me try and put my name and then my last name then email address if the email address now if you don't put at it's going to tell you that you must include at please include an hat because you have set that is an email address so where is my hat gmail.com okay so now this place now let me just put any password that i like let me try to submit it's going to tell me so it's not going to accept it please match the requested format so this is this statement that it says now is the default message but this message too we can actually put it in our code such that it's going to tell them what they actually want so now we go back to our password inside the input of our password after the required or before the required so you can as well write title So 
let me see title so now inside our title then we can say uh minimum of eight characters minimum eight characters minimum eight characters at least at least one uh, uppercase and uppercase at least an uppercase uh, a lower case and uh, a digit no i did not put special character in my pattern so it does say a digit you can try that on your own then let's save and then come here to view it so let's go to our browser to view it so in this case now if you try to submit it's going to tell you many things because this is required so it's telling us to fill that part this one is not required so it's not going to request for that then this It wants to suggest one image for me. Okay, let me use this about the same with me. Then let me just put anything I like here. So let's see. Can you see now? So if I try to submit to say please magic go for my minimum eight characters, at least an upper case, a lower case, and I dig it. So the moment I try to meet up with that condition now, so now let me see. Wow, so this is wrong. I wanted to put asterisk there. Okay, so let's see now. Let me now go back there now to fill the form. So, so last name and the first name rather. Then the email address, so let me put this. Then this one. So let, let's do what is there. So it's plenty. So you see, immediately it accepts it without complaining. So any slight mistake in your code is going to give you a problem. So I'll see you in the next class. Bye.